President Trump, I, I wanted to ask you a question about uh, Roe v. Wade. You promised uh, your base that you would overturn Roe v. Wade. You added three people to the Supreme Court and you delivered on that promise. This might be the issue that determines the election, and many people believe it is. Are you going to do a national abortion ban? Would you support that, yes or no? So uh, I don't need a national ban because it's up to the states. Right now, what I did is something that people have wanted to do for from day one, 51 years it's been going on. And if you remember, over the years, you're too young, but over the years, all they wanted to do is they wanted to make, take it out of the federal government and move it into the states. And I got that done with the selection of three great justices. I got it done. And it was a big thing. But I will say over the last 10 years, or maybe a little bit more than that, they started talking about the number of weeks and this and that. A lot of different subjects came in. It was no longer just simply bringing it back. Every legal scholar from Democrat to Republican, liberal, conservative, they all wanted it brought, given to the states. Because from a legal standpoint, from, from a lot of other standpoints, including even a moral standpoint, they wanted it brought back to the states. And what I did is I got it back to the states. And now the states are in charge and the people are voting. And some votes are coming out the way certain people want it. And some votes aren't coming out the way certain people want it. I mean, if you look at Ohio, I would say it was a more liberal vote than people would have thought. And you could say that for Kansas. And then you look at Texas, it was a different story. But the people of the states have got that issue now and they're voting. And the one thing that we have to remember that there's been a lot of radicalism talked about, and the radicalism is really on the left because they're willing to do abortions in the eighth and ninth month. month. And even beyond that, I mean, we have some people, the governor, take a look at the governor of Virginia, the former governor of Virginia, where he talked about, we will kill the baby after the baby is born. That's a very radical stance. And hopefully that's all gonna be taken off the table now. But just to put it simply, it's now up to the states. And like Ronald Reagan, I'm a believer in the exceptions, the three exceptions, as you know, and uh, rape, incest, life of the mother, uh, the danger for the life of the mother. And we have uh, a situation now where it's in the state's hands and the states are going to be uh, voting. The last thing people want, the people are gonna be voting. The last thing people want is for that to go back into the federal government. It was always fought, and very importantly, and people wanted it, they wanted it back in the states, where it belongs legally and for a lot of other reasons. So you wouldn't support a national ban? No, I wouldn't support a national ban. No, I would not.